So, this is the original picture, and this the output we will try to create. For this tutorial we will use pen tool. If you don't know how to use pen tool check the previous video, and if you want to try on the same picture as me, then you can find it in the description box. Ok, now let's get started. First create a new layer and name it whatever you like. So now let's start with the hair. As my pen tool is selected, now first create a dot. And then, you will make another dot without releasing the click. And then drag it, so that you can create a curve. Then, you have to turn of the handle. For that, you have to hold the Alt key, and click on the dot in the middle. Now let's make another point. So, make a point, drag, make a curve and release. Hold the Alt key and turn off the dot. In this way you have to finish the entire outline. We are creating the outlines first, so that we can fill the colors later. So, as you see, the selection of hair is done, once you are done outlining a particular area, you have to select the brush tool, and adjust your brush size, for this case I used 8 pixels. Now, go to the pen tool, then, right click on the shape, click on the stroke path, make sure it isn't marked. Change the pencil to brush, then click OK. So our hair outline is ready. Now, I will complete the other parts, while doing, make sure your outline layer is active. For face I will change my brush size to 3 or 4 pixels so we can separate the outlines. Now let's complete rest of the picture.
Here I am creating a new layer, where I will fill it with white color, so, we can see the progress of our editing. Look, now we can easily see the difference. Now we will create another new layer, where we will add some detailing to the eyes. Adding these little detailing will help to make the portrait more realistic. Now let's detail out the ear. Ok, it's done. Now I'll show you, outlining the rest of the picture quickly. As you see I have completed this, you can detail this part as much as you want. Now I will complete the few things left. Alright then. Our outlining part is done, now we will just fill in the colors. As you see I have selected the hair area. When selecting things, never forget to keep the outline layer on. Now before filling the color, you have to go to Select. Modify, then Expand. Here I am expanding by 3 pixels. Now fill in the color. Expanding the pixels helps to fill the colors more accurately. Always try to add little bit bright colors, as we have to add shading to it later. Now let's complete filling colors in rest of the parts.
Now we will do the beard. For this, we can not just fill in any color, as it won't look real. So here I am changing my brush and making some random strokes. You can select a brush according to your wish. And also change the colors often before making strokes, to make it more realistic. Look it is done. Now complete filling colors like before. Finally, we have finished filling colors in all the parts. Now it is the time to add some shading. But don't worry, you don't have to do any pen tool selection for adding shades. What you have to do is, unlock the background layer, and then make a copy of it. Then rename it to background copy, and drag it to the top. Now we have to desaturate the picture, for that, make sure the copy layer is active. Then go to Adjustment, and then Desaturate. Now go to the Filter Gallery, and select the filter named Cutout. You will find it in Artistic Folder. Here you need to adjust the number according to your preferences. My numbers are 833. And then you have to change Blending Mode to Multiply. As you see, shading has been added. Now we will make it even better. So, create a new adjustment layer and select Curves. Here we will add some brightness by dragging the curve upper side. And then make the lower portion darker to add some contrast. Now it's time to adjust the colors. So select the face layer first, then go to Image, Adjustment and then Hue Saturation. Here you can choose whatever settings you like for your picture. And as you can see, our portrait is done. Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. You can also find videos related to art and painting here, so hurry up and subscribe.